Hello, it's Jimmy here at the Roddy's and I have here to look at a Vauxhall Vivaro 1.6 DCI. Okay, I'm going to use the Launch Euro Tab 3 scan tool. Okay, so this is what we have to look at. Check anti-pollution system. Service required. Okay, engine management lights on. The engine is cold on this because I was working on another vehicle here, so it's been sat here a while waiting. Okay, we're going to go to diagnose default, scan. Okay, do a smart scan on this car, van. Okay, let's have a look. Battery disconnection. Low voltage basically to everything there. Radio again. Inlet air flap closed. Position closed. 06 uh, 063873 fault code and 063872. 1525 F3 Okay, yeah, the speed control So this is the main fault code here we're going to be looking at That is going to be what's causing the loss of power And if you turn the engine off I'm not sure if you can hear that Okay, I'm going to use this little tool here I'm just going to use that to open back this clip So we can slide that out So what that does is, it just opens these little spring clips. Now this is the unit that's making the noise here. This is the air inlet flap, uh, French call them an air mixer. Uh, you can call it a throttle body. So we're gonna get this off and show you what the problem is with it. I can see what the problem is already. It's gone crazy when you flick the key. If I go inside and flick the key, I can probably show you that. Just try and leave that there. That's what the problem is. Her flaps are going crazy. I do generally have that effect on women, but what can you do? Okay, here is the new part. They call it a flow meter or an air flow meter. It's not what you normally call an air flow meter. That is. I'd call that a throttle body, but it's an air inlet flap, air inlet control flap, um, air mixer. That's what they're called on these Peugeots. But yeah, we'll get this fitted and we should we should no longer see crazy flaps. So there you go, a nice turn of the key. You can see that one is just moving nicely how it should. Rescan the vehicle now that it's all been fitted in. And the fault code's gone. Just pretty straightforward really. So that is it. We are all finished on this one. And see you on our next video.